everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this really cute poke ball keychain. To begin, you're going to need some worsted weight yarn. I'm using Red Heart and I just have white, black, and red here. You're also going to need an F 3.75mm crochet hook, a stitch marker, even a piece of yarn will work, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle with a large eye, and a few of these keychain pieces. To begin, we're going to start with our red yarn and we're going to create a magic ring. To create my magic ring, I just make an open knot like this. And you're going to place your hook inside of the ring. Grab your working yarn and chain up one. We're now going to single crochet six into this ring. To single crochet, insert your hook into the ring, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops for one single crochet. You can also use your stitch marker here to mark our first stitch. Next, place five more single crochet into the ring. So I have two, three, four, five, and you want six total. Now you're going to take this tail and I'm going to take out my hook here and fasten off this ring. So I'm just passing the tail through and grabbing it through the center. And I'm going to take this front yarn right here and I'm going to pull it, cinching down on that ring. You're now going to take the tail and you're going to pull it through. Now at this point what you can do is actually take your, what is now your tail here, that you just cinched off your ring, and you can grab your yarn needle. And this is actually what we're going to use to fasten the poke ball to the keychain. So you're just going to go ahead and take that and pull it back through the center. So now we have that yarn to use. To begin round two, you're going to remove your stitch marker and place two single crochet into that very first stitch. So one, two, place your stitch marker into that first stitch, and place two single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When we get back to our stitch marker, I will see you then. Okay, so I'm placing my last single crochet for round two. And at this point, you should have 12 single crochet. Next, you're gonna remove the stitch marker and place two single crochet into that stitch. One, two, grab your stitch marker and place it into that first stitch you made. So the second from your hook. Place one single crochet into the next stitch, and then increase into the next stitch with two stitches. So we have two, one, two, one, and we're going to continue this all the way around. And when we get back to the stitch marker, we will start the next round. At the end of round three, you should end with just a single crochet into the last stitch. For round four, remove your stitch marker and place a stitch into that stitch. You should have 18 single crochet for round three and round four. This is round four that we're working in. We're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. I'm at the end of row four and into your last stitch you want to start your last single crochet and end right here where you have two loops. You're then going to grab your black yarn and run that black yarn through to complete that stitch. So once you have, let's see, you have two stitches 
or two loops on your hook for that single crochet. Grab your black yarn to complete that stitch. Now at this point, I'm gonna take my scissors and snip that red yarn, because we are all done with it. I'm gonna go and take the black tail and the red tail and just tie them together. Now I can move my stitch marker and place a single crochet where that stitch marker was. This is beginning row five. Row five, we're gonna just place one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. We should still have 18 single crochet. Complete this round and I will see you for round six. Now at the end of row five, we have one more stitch left and we're gonna do the same thing what we just did with our red yarn. We're going to start the single crochet and then we're gonna grab our white yarn and complete the stitch with our white yarn. And I'm going to do the same thing. Snip my yarn, tie those tails together. Move my stitch marker. And place a single crochet into that stitch where the stitch marker was. Putting my stitch marker back. And placing one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. This is row six. You should have 18 single crochet. To begin row seven, remove your stitch marker and place a single crochet into that stitch. Put your stitch marker right back again. And row seven, you should have 18 single crochet as well. So I'll let you complete this round and I will see you for the decrease on row eight. To begin row eight, you're going to remove your stitch marker and we are going to single crochet two together for this very, two, this very first stitch. So these two stitches, we're going to single crochet together. Insert your hook into the first stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops for a decrease. Take your stitch marker and place it back into that stitch. You're going to place a single crochet into the next stitch. Just one single crochet. The next stitch, we're going to do another decrease. So grabbing my yarn and pulling up a loop, then inserting my hook again, grabbing my yarn and pulling up another loop, grabbing my yarn once more, and pulling through all three loops single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet decrease, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet decrease, single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to continue this all the way around. You should have 12 stitches when you're done with row 8. Now at this point in our project, we are going to stuff the poke ball. You can use a little bit of scrap yarn if you like, or if you have a little bit of polyfill on hand, that works wonderful too. So go ahead and stuff the poke ball, and I will see you all in just a minute. For round nine, we are going to single crochet decrease in every stitch all the way around. So we're going to do every two stitches are going to be single crochet decreased. So I'm doing this, these first two right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and place my stitch marker into that stitch. Then single crochet decrease your next stitch. And your next two stitches. and kind of keep them as tight as you can. It just helps the decrease go much smoother. At the end of this round, you should have six single crochet.
And there we are, right there. So I have two, four, six, and I'm gonna remove my stitch marker. I'm gonna grab my scissors here, cut off the tail, pull that tail through, I'm gonna grab my yarn needle here to finish off the bottom of the ball. I'm going to just go in and out on the edge here. And just kind of fasten it off. Okay? Just weave in your end here, cut off any excess and we will next be just finishing off our project. Now to make the little eye on the poke ball, you will need white and black yarn. Go ahead and start with a magic ring, just like we did in the beginning of this project. And you're going to a single crochet four into the ring. So one, two, three, Four. You can fasten off your ring. Then you're going to slip stitch into that first stitch that we made. And fasten this off. Next you're going to take your black yarn and you're going to place two single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So you should have a total of eight single crochet. Leave the tail on the black yarn long so you can sew on the little eye. So I'm just placing two single crochet all the way around. You can't really see it here because the black is so dark and the white is so white. But I will see you when I'm finished. I just wanted to show you really quick that there is this space here at the end which is from our slip stitch and you can go ahead and place two single crochet into that space just to get everything closer together. Slip stitch to the top to join. Cut your yarn and now we're going to sew it to our poke ball. I cut the tails on the end on the back here short and then you can look at your poke ball here and where we were joining the colors or switching the color rows there's this kind of like um, jump so I'm going to take the eye of the poke ball and just cover that jump up right there as you sew stay really close to the eye of the poke ball it just helps kind of hide your stitches a little bit and I'm not going to be sewing it on with very many stitches. As you see, it's just kind of be tacked on. You can end with just running your tail over here and then tying it off. The last step is just to add your little keychain holder here. And I did nothing fancy, I just tied mine on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Have a wonderful crochet day, and I will see you all in my next video.